am Becky McDonough, and I am the driver of the Yellow El Toro Loco. I'm going into eight years now. I started off as a crew person, and I crewed for four years before I had the opportunity to drive. This is my fourth year driving and four years behind that of crew. I actually did some technical training for nine months out in Wyoming, and I just sent in my resume, and I said, hey, this is who I am, this is what I want. And luckily, you know, Feld Entertainment gave me the chance to come out here and prove myself, and I turned wrenches for four years, and they knew that I eventually wanted to be a driver. A few years in, and I worked hard and learned the truck from the wheels up, and I got the chance to drive. You know, the people always come up and think I'm just one of the guys' wives or something, that I'm just kind of hanging around in a crew shirt, but it's really not a traditional thing for women to be in this sport, especially from going behind the scenes as a crew person. You know, I was just a little 18-year-old blonde girl bebopping in, saying that I love monster trucks and I wanted to work on them, and so I had to work that much harder to prove myself as a female in this sport, you know, and all that hard work finally paid off, and i now behind the wheel. I know my biggest first thing was I didn't realize how much work it was going to be coming into it. You know, I just see Monster Jam, it starts at 7 o'clock at night, you could roll in at 5 o'clock, get the truck ready and go, but there's times where we put in 80 hours a week from setting up the truck to doing the shock, sometimes there's motor swaps in the middle of the night, you know, there's just so much more work that's involved that a lot of the spectators don't see on the camera. To have a job in motorsports, you have to have a passion for not only racing, but you have to just work hard, put your whole heart into everything that you do. The fans, the adrenaline, and your love for racing.